in today's video, we're going to be breaking down our part, I think part three or part four of our Atlanta Falcons offensive ebook that we're giving away to you guys for free here on the YouTube channel. And what we're talking about today is these primarily going to be focused on the zone beating formation. Okay. So uh, for those of you guys that are brand new to my YouTube channel, my name is Cody and I make four YouTube videos every single day that are designed to give you some type of tip or strategy um, that can help you get better in this game. Now, again, that covers a lot of things. We cover tip strategies. We cover full schemes like we're doing right now. We cover defensive nano blitzes. We cover how to counter different things as well. And so if you want to be a part of my community, one of the things that I want to ask you to do right now is to go ahead and click subscribe it's at the bottom right of the screen and that's going to allow you to not only be notified whenever we um, upload a new video which is every single day we upload four videos a day but it's also going to notify you whenever we live stream and live stream is a great place because our live streams are designed so that you can ask questions you can see the tips that I am talking about in actual practice and so we go live every single night and by subscribing to the channel that's going to keep you notified of that as well now uh, Atlanta Falcons playbook. Now, what we've covered so far is we've covered the gun bunch as a base formation. We've covered the uh, single back bunch as a three-headed rushing attack. And we've covered the shotgun tight as a man-beating formation. Now, today, part four, we're going to be talking about the shotgun spread Y flex as a zone beating formation for you. Now, what's cool about Atlanta is they have a lot of different zone coverage, or I'm sorry, a lot of different spreads. If, if you look here, count with me right now, you got one, two, three, four, four um, sets that are designed for spread uh, spread passing. Uh, and so we're gonna focus primarily on the spread Y flex formation. And the first play we're gonna look at is deep curl. Um, but again, guys, if you haven't caught the other videos that I've done on this, you can check those out at my YouTube channel. Uh, and then we will actually have a, uh, a packaged playlist for you by the end of the week that you can access all of those uh, videos as well. But we're gonna start off here, deep curl. And to me, the curl, uh, the curl flat concept in combination with levels, this play right here is really, really powerful this year for a plethora of reasons. Now in general, when you're running spread, you can either run it to the wide side or short side. It doesn't really, to me, two by two, it's not as big of a deal. Trips is where it really makes a lot of a difference. So um, anyway, basically what we've got here is we've got a levels concept on the left side. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna motion Russell Gage to the left to put him on a, a little bit deeper of an in route. So he's gonna go about 13 yards as opposed to about 10 yards. Now, your first read is this quick route to Todd Gurley at the snap of the ball. And what you're gonna see is you can rack catch this against most zones. If they don't have their zone drops set to come down on the flat, you are going to be able to throw this ball with ease. Now, if they run hard flats out there, let me show you what's going to happen. It's going to actually open up this curl route. Now, curl routes, you can see here, I can throw this, and, and, and I can make, make a move or two, and I can actually get the ball out. That's one of the things I love about this route right here from deep curl. This little quick flat route, it wasn't really a thing in Madden 20, but this year, these routes are back. These routes are so effective. Now, if they um, if they maybe, maybe they jump to the ball, as you see right there, where they're starting to jump down on it, what you're gonna see is you're gonna be able to throw the curl route in behind it. Now, this curl is a little bit slanted to the inside. What that means is he's gonna get better inside position. Just a little low ball, you're gonna sit down. It's a 10 yard gain, and it's very, very consistent against uh, most zone coverages. Like I said, I love curl routes this year. Curl routes are like if, if you want to get better in Madden 21 on offense, run a curl route. The other thing that you have is this nice little streak here. You can pass leave this inside as you see there. Devin McCourty does make a great play on the ball, but if, and that's cover four. But if they're like in, um, let me show you what happens if they're, let's just say they're in cover two. Okay, let's just say they're in cover two. So they're in cover two. They're trying to take away some of that stuff over the middle. And what you're going to see is this play is going to absolutely kill cover two. The levels, um, the the streak route is going to pull the middle linebackers. It's most of the time the middle linebacker is going to go with him. Now, if the middle linebacker doesn't go with him, then they're going to have some issues. You see right here, um, they're going to drop that middle linebacker deep. It's going to leave this void for Russell Gates to be able to get the ball. This is classic levels concept. This is one of my favorite concepts year in and year out with Madden. Uh, now, let's say they play underneath, and let's say they don't go with the tight end. Well, you're gonna hit that, pop that right up the seam against the cover two defense. 
Now, what's really cool about this is the audibles you want to have, you want to have double seams, HB seam, and PA seams. Spread is going to attack the seams. Now, you have your curl flat uh, combinations here. You'll see that this little curl route is going to sit. That's a curl flat zone. Let me show you what a cloud flat zone does against this. So this is cover four. Watch the curl route, watch it sit. Inside pass lead, the, the little shoot route to the back is gonna pull, it's gonna pull those flat zones out of the way. I mean, it's a, literally a cloud flat that we're throwing this at, and we'll throw this consistently. You see here, you get that inside leverage, low ball, you're gonna hit that all day long. And then you can see there with a little, little good uh, joystick move there, you're gonna be out and you're gonna be rolling for about 50. It's a very, very solid concept, very, very consistent concept. There's really not a lot of zones in the game that's going to cover it. Now, if they go man-to-man, -man, let's say they go man-to-man -man press. This is Stefan Gilmore. You're going to see if you pass lead down into the inside, the inside is the key. If you throw inside pass lead on that curl route, you're going to beat man-to-man -man as well. So you're going to be able to beat zone. You're going to be able to beat man. You're going to see that this play right here is just a really solid all-around play. It's better. It's best against cover two. Best against cover two because there's just nothing they can do. But if they run, let's show you cover three. So if they run cover three, you're running deep curl. Same concept, right? You're going to get them out there. Get them out there on a shoot. Low ball. Got through that a little bit early. According, end up hawking me. But you'll see here. Little shoot route against cover three. Snap the ball. Low ball right in there. You're going to just set it down. Set it down. Pop it. You got 10 yards. 10 yards. 10 yards. Very consistent 10 yards. That doesn't talk about anything else we're doing here. What you're going to find here is you're going to consistently complete this little drag. This little drag to Julio Jones, you're going to rat catch that. You're going to consistently be able to complete that for yardage against your opponent. So, you know, very, very simple, very, very basic, but very, very effective. Now, let's say they run cover six on you. Uh, well, oftentimes you're going to hit this little shoot route. There's not going to be, you know, the way defense plays this year, this curl flat concept is so powerful. Curl flats might be one of the best plays in the game. Um, you can high ball this route here um, to get it over the linebackers if you want to. If you got a good, if you got a good quarterback, you feel confident, you can high ball that in route against pretty much every yellow zone, and it's going to get back over the top. Sometimes they will jump, as you see right there. Um, you don't tip it. I mean, you know, in general, just throw the drag. Um, but all in all, you know, and you can even put you can put Jones on a basic little five yard in route if you want to. He's still going to get the spacing that he needs. Um, and you're just going to hit one of the others. So that's deep curl. Now, deep curl is going to be the foundation. It's going to beat every zone that they're going to play on you. Now, what's going to happen is they're going to start running, um, I would say, just a lot of different types of coverages. So what I like to do is go to the play double seams, and I'm going to take Julio Jones on the smart route, his route, so that he goes 10 yards. Calvin Ridley's route, you can't smart route that route. And literally, this is all I'm going to do, and I find this little play right here, um, to be very, very effective. Uh, those, se those two seam routes are so good against, against zone. Um, let me show you like cover four, right? Any, any stock coverage, these seams are gonna, the seams are just good this year. I mean, they're really, really good this year. You're gonna be able to pass through those to the inside and you're gonna be able to click on and cut those streaks off against zone. You're going to be able to do that against cover three. You're going to be able to do that against cover four. Like you're going to be able to consistently do that. But then you have the smart routed in route um, as well against zone that you're going to see. We can typically, um, if they start dropping everybody back, which is what they're going to have to do. They're going to start dropping their yellow zones back. They're going to start dropping people back. But once they start doing that, you've got these two little in routes right here, as you'll see here to Calvin Ridley and to Julio Jones. So let's say they go into, let's just say they go cover two and they drop their zones back so that they can take away the seam routes. Well, what's gonna happen, you got these little, these little underneath routes right here, maybe a little motion snap here, but you see this in route to Julio Jones, that'll be very, very effective. It's also gonna be effective against man to man. If you're in a situation where maybe they catch you off guard, you call double seams. Well, both of these routes are going to be pretty significantly effective because they have really crisp cuts, and you're going to be able to beat man to man to the with the crossing route. Very, very simple. Very, very straightforward. Now we're going to move to uh, the play HB seam. HB seam is really good. All you're going to do is you're going to take your uh, Calvin Ridley. You're going to put him on a uh, ten and out, uh, ten and out route. 
And what you're gonna see is it's gonna pull all the zones. It's gonna create this little pocket right in here. And you're gonna be able to click on with your, uh, with your running back and you're gonna be able to pretty consistently beat a lot of zone coverage. This is cover four here, but right when he cuts in, click on and you see how you're gonna be able to just kind of swerve catch it and you're gonna be in business against that's a cover four. We'll show you here, this is gonna be cover two, but pretty much every zone in the game is gonna leave this little running back route, shoot route open. Um, he's gonna get over the yellow zones right there. End up getting a throw out of sack animation. But you'll see cover two probably does the best, uh, but especially against like cover three, cover four, you're gonna see this route right here with that little smart route and out route on the right. It's gonna have a really good pull. Uh, and then what's going to happen is it's actually going to work as like a nice little dot against the cover three over the top. There's Fug Gilmore to get back. But I do want to show you if we wait just a little bit longer um, and we can lob ball this against most cover threes in the game, you're going to be able to pass this away from the cover three for an absolute dot. So see here, wait, 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 wait. Click on. And Gilmore is, is falling back, which is fine. You can throw it early as well. I'm just trying to show you some options with this route. But you'll see this this HB seam will be better than you think. Um, you're going to be able to pass through this in pockets here against cover three. Click on so secure catch it. Quick ten, quick ten, quick ten, quick ten. Now bunch gun bunch is pretty good against zone. So you know that's why part of me is um, you know saying you want to have some type of spread set. This spread set uh, will work just fine for you. Uh, whoops, I accidentally. I accidentally think I threw that. Uh, forgot to put that water here on a 10 and out route. But you'll see, I mean, cover three, if we can just get that that uh, Stephon Gilmore to hold here. And a lot of people like a five and out. A lot of people like a five and out. They feel like it's going to pull them up a little bit. But I, in my opinion, you see how Stephon Gilmore is able to drop back on that. But we'll show you here. You know, you can do anything. You can do comebacks. You can do curls. You know, pretty much anything to hold Stephon Gilmore on this little on this deep third. And then you, you see here when Stephon Gilmore goes, you can easily just pop that, pop that curl route off to um, to uh, the wide receiver on the right side of the screen. You see here, there's the curl. See how he runs with him, and then you can just throw it. So, you know, got options. Got options here. Let's show you, let's show you. So we talked about HPC, we talked about double seams, deep curl. I'll show you PA seams. So PA seams, you see you got that stock, you got stock fades on both sides of the field. Now these two specific stock fades from PA seams, and all I'm gonna do is put the running back on an option route. These specific stock fades are going to destroy cover two. So if they play cover two, once your wide receiver gets over to the outside, you're gonna throw an outside pass lead, click on, and you're gonna uh, either aggressive or possession, depending on what they wanna do. Now as a general rule of thumb, what you wanna do is you wanna run these stock fades um, to the wide side of the field if you can. You know, again, you can't always we see here. You're gonna get that outside release, click on, and you're gonna be able to get out of, out of business there with Calvin Ridley. Uh, we'll show you this one more time against cover two. Typically, typically, this is my opinion, but whichever side you see here, in theory, the uh, wide side is technically to the right side. See, you're going to get that outside release. Just throw it right there, click on, and you're just going to pop in a secure catch right behind the zones. Now, what's really cool about these routes is you can smart route them. It's going to make them work a little bit more effective against cover two defenses. So uh, you'll see here cover two again. It's right over the edge. Click on. And you're going to be able to get out there. Now, what I also like about this is if they're running, let's say they're running like cover two man. Let's just say they're running cover two man, okay? Just to just to just to show this. And let's say they take the safeties away, right? Everyone likes to take the safeties away. What you're going to see is this route is going to get a outside release, free release, and Julio Jones is going to absolutely roast it down. You do want to have a good receiver out there, but if you have a decent receiver out there, you're going to see it's going to consistently roast that cover two man. I'll show you do um, Stephon Gilmore's side as well. It's a specific route that takes a specific cut um, and we'll show you this uh, to Calvin Ridley snap the ball see he's gonna get that free release and you see how I can I can get over the top now if they have a safety over top you're not gonna want to make you're not gonna want to throw it but if they don't have a safety over top if they don't have that deep half um, even if they have a safety over top but maybe the safety's in the middle of the field Right. Let me just show you what this, what, what, what kind of look this gives you. Um, you smart route the route. He's going to get a little bit better of an animation. Snap the ball, and you just lob it up, and he beats him by a good five yards over top. Rap catch.
So very, very simple, um, very, very simple routes combinations here, but they do really well against a lot of different things. So let's say they run uh, cover four against something like this. Well, these stock routes, you can actually, because you're smart routing them, you're gonna have an opportunity to snap throw them. Um, you'll see here, snap throw to the left, click on, and you see here, if I aggressive catch with Julio Jones, that's gonna be a quick, that's gonna be a quick dot. Now, oftentimes what I will do with this specific offense, uh, because it's really a four vertical style attack, um, I will throw an out route in there. So if they press me on the seams, I can hit the out route. You just pop out routes all day long. Uh, but what you'll see here uh, is if they run, if I smart route the route to Calvin Ridley, snap the ball, and I'm just going to get that ball out there. And you see there, it's it's tight. It's a tender throw, but I have found that I've been able to, to complete that a lot against zone uh, coverage, especially cover three. If I if I know they're in cover four or cover three, uh, you're going to see you aggressive catch it, and you're going to get that little say get that little jumping animation. One of the things you might want to consider doing is to go ahead and. Um, Click on, ah, can't get it, can't quite get it, but, but again, if you just pop out routes on them, pop out routes, pop out routes, pop routes, what I mean by that is if I'm running PC seams and they're backed off coverage, I'm just going to pop a five yard out route out there and you'll see right here, just click on it and it's going to be a quick seven yards. Now you can make it, you can make it a five, uh, you can make it a five and out, you can make it a 10 and out if you want to. Uh, I personally like the security of doing five yard outs. They just, five yard out, in my opinion, works a little bit better. But as you see, there's a 10-yard out. It still works the same against that cover four drop bail uh, technique. But you're going to be able to move the ball to feel pretty easily with this spread offensive set. Um, does a really, really good job against man, but does a really, really good job against zone. Because like I said, when you're attacking from spread this year, the seams are so tender. Um, if they're not paying attention, you can pop these for 15, 20, 30 dot over the top. So anyways, guys, that's the – zone beating formation out of the Atlanta Falcons playbook. We're going to be back tomorrow and we're going to probably be talking about our red zone offense, little X factor uh, formation for you guys. Um, that also can be the blitz with some quick passes. So we got some really good stuff planned for you guys tomorrow. Um, be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Again, you can click that button below. But also, if you don't know already, I have a community Discord. And Discord is basically a community communication platform where you can share ideas, not just with you, but your whole community, and you can bounce things off of one another. And there's channels and all sorts of things, uh, topical conversations about Madden. So if you want to talk to me and 300 of my closest friends about how to get better at Madden and maybe you just have some ideas that you want to throw out there or you have some questions or specific questions or tactics or whatever that discord is going to help you get better because um, again you're going to be surrounding yourself with better competition better players heck if you just want to go there and find lab partners if you're looking for someone to lab with looking for someone to practice with someone to help you get better discord is a place that you can do that so you can join that discord click the link in the description below of this video and it'll take you right to able to sign up uh, guys, we will see you guys uh, tonight on our stream. Be sure to come by again right here on our YouTube channel, and we'll see you tonight.